This update allows users to separate their check into user-defined steps that make it possible to scope errors and alerts to a specific channel. We have also made UI changes that show a bird's eye view of how a particular check is doing and that allow you to drill down into the details that you need. Let's start with creating steps. If we are to create a new check in the existing LM Synthetics wizard and upload a file with multiple commands, we can now see that LM gives us the opportunity to separate these commands into steps. Each step can be given a name to further help identify what part of your workflow is being monitored by those commands. In the UI, we can see that one test is now one device in the resource tree. This means that each of the user-defined steps is now an instance in LM. Each step can now have its own alert threshold or have errors scoped to that particular step or instance. They can also be added to dashboards. This makes it easier to drill down and see what parts of the Selenium workflow are experiencing the most errors or the highest latency. While you can look at each step individually, there is also now an option to view all of them together under Overall. This section has a new tab, the Tests and Steps tab, which features a stacked breakdown chart of each step and a list of the most recent runs of this particular test, including error and latency information for each run. Clicking into a run allows you to drill down even further and see a waterfall chart of the performance of each step, as well as any information associated with errors for that particular test run. This will make it easier to view at a glance what happened and when with each Selenium Synthetics check. 